Let's make some butternut squash soup with this massive beast. Let's start off by trimming the ends of the butternut squash like this. This way it'll make it a little bit easier when we start peeling the skin off it. This is a tough bad boy. Look at that. There we go. Got one piece there. Let's turn this around because I'm a righty. I don't want to cut the opposite way. I'm cutting about an inch off the end. Oh. Normally, because this butternut squash is so enormous, I would cut it down the middle to make it a lot easier to peel. But for the sake of this video and the drama, I'm gonna peel it all in one piece. Oh boy, look at that. Now, when you're peeling it, you wanna make sure that you get to the yellow part. You don't want it to be white. This is an example, bigger is not better. So let's start off by cutting this here in half. Ooh, that is hard to cut. Oh man, you gotta put your, your back into it. Oh boy, this is hard. Stay safe, don't cut your fingers off. We're gonna cut these into a bunch of little cubes. This way, whether you cook it in an oven or in a pot, the smaller the piece is, the easier it is. Make sure you have a nice sharp knife. It makes this task a lot easier. I like them to be about, you know, an inch in size max. I just finished chopping up half of this ginormous butternut squash and I still have so much left over. I'm gonna just use what I chopped up here. I'm gonna keep this for tomorrow. Now, if you're preparing this soup, from beginning to end in a pot, you need to make sure that you chop your onions nice and finely. Since we're gonna cook this garlic in a pot, make sure you mince it nice and fine. So now I peel it, make sure you chop your garlic nice and fine. This way it incorporates in your soup nicely. Let's start off with a generous dose of olive oil. Here we're gonna add the full onion and now we're gonna cook these onions till they reach a nice golden brown. Now you're gonna add your garlic, cook it for about two minutes, make sure you don't burn it. Now you can add some cinnamon, mix that all up. Mm. Smells absolutely divine. Some nutmeg. Now reduce your heat to medium low and you can add your butternut squash. Mix it all up. Add your salt and pepper to taste. You could always add more later. And now put four cups of chicken broth. Mix it all up. Now let it simmer for about 40 minutes. Once that you notice that your butternut squash is nice and tender, it's time to blend it with an immersion blender. Sure, you can use a regular blender, but I find the immersion blender way easier. Now we're gonna add a full can of coconut milk and just mix it all up. This is gonna thin out your soup a little bit and give it a nice hint of coconut flavor. Let's have a taste. Mmm, tastes like autumn. The best part about this dish is that I hand selected this butternut squash with my family at a local farm, and now we get to enjoy it all together tonight. If you enjoyed this recipe, please check out these other great videos, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and give it a like.